Well, if you're looking for a great gift idea for a veteran or military member in your family, we have a great suggestion. Deros Vietnam, Dispatches from the Air Conditioned Jungle was written by Doug Bradley, and Doug is a Madison-based Vietnam veteran who's written extensively about his Vietnam and post-Vietnam experiences, and he's join joining us now. Welcome to Live at Five. Good to Thanks. see you, Doug. Thanks, Thanks good for to be being here. here. Thanks very much. Let's talk about the title of this uh, book here. What does it mean? Uh, it's interesting. It stands for Date Eligible for Return from Overseas. The Army is great with acronyms. How do you and pronounce that? Diros? Diros. Diros. And everybody in Vietnam knew their Diros date. It was very sacred because Marines had 13-month tours and those of us in the Army had 12-month tours. So you knew when your Diros date was, when you would be leaving. And boy, that date was very, very important, especially given the circumstances. Mm. Is this book about your experience in Vietnam? It's based on my experiences, but I, I wanted to broaden it out a bit because, uh, as I, a lot of people don't know, is that there were more of those of us who served in the rear than there were people in combat. Now, it's not to take any, you know, anything for granted there and to say that that was not that important and critical. But it was just to say to round out the story, we have the combat stories. We have a lot of the, the valor and the heroism. That's great. But there hasn't been much about those of us who, you know, took the pictures, wrote the stories, cooked the food. So, mm -hmm. so we were, I was just trying to give a perspective from the guys that were in the rear. So how did you collect all of this uh, information? Well, I kept a journal while I was in Vietnam. I was, a, I was an Army correspondent, luckily. Uh, they, even though I was drafted, they made me a correspondent. So I was covering stories while I was there. And I came back home, and I've just sort of off and on been trying to write this. I thought I was going to write the great American novel. Then I realized it worked better with short stories. Then I took a cue from Ernest Hemingway and filled in the gaps. How long were you in Vietnam? One year, 365 days, One? right on the button. On the button, on really? The button. And how did that experience change your life? Uh, totally changed my life. I, I was, uh, I graduated from college the previous May and I was going to law school. So I was on this track of going to law school, maybe getting into politics, having a whole different life. Well, I had two years of my life get, that I gave to my country, one of those in Vietnam, and it just changed everything. Um, who I was, where I was, where I was going. I never would have ended up in Madison, probably. Mm, that's true. Yeah. Did you learn something different about your experience in Vietnam after writing this book? I did. I did. I realized that um, there is still a lot of work to be done around that war. Um, the, the men and women, primarily men who came home. What we haven't done yet, I think, as a nation to sort of come to grips with, with sort of that pain and that era. And I, I think we still need to, there's still some wounds we need to bind. It's, yeah, it's, t it's a timely conversation now. The book is available at Amazon.com? Yes, it is. And some local bookstores, Room of One Zone, the Wisconsin Veterans Museum. So. Very good. Well, congratulations. Excellent. Thank you very good much. Good to see you, Doug. Merry Christmas.